On this week's Roll for Crit playback, we're going to be crawling into the game of Hive, specifically Hive Carbon. Yes, in this Avatar game, each team has an equal number of bug pieces and are trying to surround their opponent's queen bee. Who will survive? Who will be champ? Who likes bugs? I don't. <laughs> I think they're gross. <laughs> I'm Will Keeler. I'm Jonathan Estes, and this is Roll for Crit playback. Well, I'm just buzzing to get started with this game of Hive, uh, but we're going to play with traditional chess rules, <laughs> which state that you, as the white pieces player, will take the first move. Right, as we could not really find anything in the actual rulebook about it. So, I guess I'll uh, crawl on in with my spider. Hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to meet you head on. I'm all in. <laughs> that's, that's a power play. <laughs> You know, uh, I'm, I'm going to go spider for spider. Oh, I see. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip all my pieces face down. <laughs> you won't know what I'm going to eat that's coming out. <laughs> that's one strategy for sure. All right. I think it's time for uh, we get some, some ant action in here. Some ant action. Yeah. <laughs> some hardcore ant action. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I will counter with my uncle. <laughs> no, there's no uncle. Let's go. I'm going to go beetle. Actually, I'm, I'm going to go Ladybug. Put it there. I think it's time for the Queen to make an appearance. Oh, uh, I see how it is. I just got to decide where. <laughs> early Queen. Well, not too early. It's Oosh. one turn before. It's just early. The Queen arrives when she chooses to <laughs> yeah. arrive. I'll go Grasshopper now. I'm going to take my ant and move him there. Okay. Okay, so now I'm I'm queening. Mm-hmm. It must queen. I have no hive, and I must queen. I actually it's there or one of these two spots. Correct. Choices. I'll go here. I, I like it to be symmetrical. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah. See, now this is the part where now I'm gonna probably should start thinking more. <laughs> Before, I probably should have also been thinking spider tile, spider tile. <laughs> sure. Love it. Can we play a version of this with real bugs? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm like, oh god, ow! Oh god, that, that spider's poisonous. <laughs> actually, what would be cool if someone actually made like clear cases and got like, you know, when they, they store bug collections and actually have the bugs in there. Now that would be a fancy <laughs> version of the game. <laughs> that would be an expensive version. <laughs> That's an exclusive Kickstarter <laughs> tier. Um, Alright, I'm gonna take my ladybug. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go one, two, Three. Okay. <laughs> Boop. No idea what I'm doing. <laughs> well, it's your turn again. <laughs> All right. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. So perfect. My strategy worked. I'll put an ant here. I'm gonna go one, two, three. It's a magic number. I'm already not happy with this. <laughs> Normally I'd just be like, all willy-nilly, but I want to give the people a little bit of a show <laughs> uh, so they don't have to watch me get devoured on turn five. Oh, see, that's no good. This is no good. I don't like this guy, because <laughs> he's really affecting my my mobility down there. That's that's his job. Uh, he, he's yelling at the grasshopper, because, you know, stealing its food. <laughs> Classic ant. <laughs> God, I feel like I've lost. <laughs> I'm, putting, <laughs> I'm putting him here. Oh. I'm locking that guy in. Oh. That, that's the sound I like to hear. <laughs> uh, I don't like you locking in my things. <laughs> so as we said in the beginning, we're actually playing the Hive Carbon. It's not really a variant per se. It's just the same set as Hive, but it was black and white pieces, and it comes with the Mosquito and Ladybug expansions already in it, which you saw us use. It's essentially our just extra pieces as if it's as if chess had a new piece you could add into the game right uh, but so hive I, I already compared it to chess and it seems like that's everywhere you look that's the big game people 
compared to. Well, I think to. that's one of the reasons why there's a carbon version. <laughs> right. Because it <laughs> it looks, it has that like classy kind of look to it. And and in gameplay as well, the big difference really is there's no board. You kind of you, you almost create the spaces as you play. Right. Which is a very different headspace because as you're looking, the, the places you can move to are changing all the time. Uh, and it, it, Or even what you can move. Right. So you have to really think harder even, <laughs> I think, about what's going to be possible because it, you, you have to vis be able to visualize all that stuff in advance, not just where your opponent's going to move, but how they're going to be allowed to move. So that's interesting. Well, I think the other big thing comparing the two is what's a little bit nicer than this in this one, mm -hmm. comparing to chess, mm -hmm. is that pieces aren't really lost. Right, yeah, your pieces are always so out of the So even if something's locked in, it's sort of still nice to know that it's not eliminated. It also is kind of, it, because so many games are to get rid of the other person's pieces to win, it's a nice change of pace where your strategies aren't just get rid of them. Uh, it, it become, I feel like there's a lot more interesting interplay of the pieces that way, especially right. if, like, if the more things you get out on the board. Well, if you notice in our game, what became, uh, I think, was really the back and forth between our strategies that showed the, our most powerful moves were when we locked in someone's piece. Right. Which is, I think, what's really interesting, because while you lock in a piece... That also is locking in yours in a way, until so like there was a time when you had to forfeit. You felt locking in a piece to lock in a different one. Right, I had to. And I think that's some really great interplay. Yeah, no, that that, that it's definitely it's about those as we said, it's kind of offensive and defensive choices and when and where do you use which pieces? And that's another thing different from from chess is you don't have all your pieces out of the start. You're deciding what order to play them in. Mm -hmm. So every game could have very, a very different feel based on what you decide to put out and when or what your opponent does. Yeah, maybe you both decide to do the opening queen gambit. <laughs> <laughs> the famous opening queen gambit. I'm guessing it's a very bad move. We could probably have people comment and tell us whether it's good or not. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, this is a game. They have tournaments and stuff. There are... It's been around for a long time. We're we're really just novices to it. Mm -hmm. We're. I'm sure we're gonna get plenty of people telling <laughs> how both of us are just like, why would you play that piece? Yeah, the spider's so strong. Never start with the spider. If you're looking for high level play, you're not gonna find it here. Uh, but that that is part of what what makes it fun. And I think this is a game that kind of unlike chess, can work for both sides. Where I mean, sure, casual people can play chess, but Really, there's a there's a skill wall there. I feel like that you hit before you kind of stop either stop having fun with it or you get really deep into it. Well, I think this you couldn't. There's it's because the pieces are so different and there's expansions. It's a little more gamey. I yeah, guess. and I think uh, there's two reasons to that. When comparing the two, one, chess has been around a lot longer, so much so it's almost hit this like intellectual like. It's the game of intellectuals. Like it, we see it used in puzzles, you know. We see it used in like referring. Uh, in, at all times, people are like I'm the Black King or whatever. <laughs> it's all. It's the metaphor you always right. see. <laughs> yeah. When this doesn't have that yet, so it doesn't have that almost that you, you that that fear of cl that of not being able to reach that bar. And the other thing is, as we said earlier, uh, player uh, not really player elimination, but piece elimination. It doesn't feel nearly as bad when you when if you're all right. My Beatles locked in, but compared to I lost my rook. Right. Because you can get your beetle back in essence. If right. You, you, if you're, yeah, if you're good enough, you can find a way like we did to, to make them move that piece later right. on, et, et cetera. All right. You may not like your beetles, but I'm sending out my big bag beetle Borg. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was waiting a while for that you one. You really did it. You really went all the way. See, I want to move this grass man, but I can't. I know, and I don't. I didn't want you to move that grass man. <laughs> He's the grass man. <laughs> don't you love the grass man? I'm the grass man. I'll put a spider over here. I really don't like where this is going. Well, it's heading some places. I think I'm going to have to start heading places too. Boop. Mm, okay. Getting a little ride there from your friend. <laughs> I wish I were smarter than I am. <laughs> so I would know what to do. <laughs> well, let's just roll with it. I'm going to put an ant here. Get that symmetry back. Alright. 
<laughs> he's making his way across. All right. Oh, or he's staying right there probably because <laughs> that bee cannot move now. All right. This is that's really bad scene now because you can now place things next to him. Mm -hmm. I think I want to move my ant here or here. Then you can't put any, you can't put anything here. Oh, wow! Yeah, how about that for some mind games? <laughs> now you like that actually made me have to think. You're making me think, man. It's not right. cool. No matter what else happens, I consider this game a success. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play my grasshopper here. Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna do it. Just for revenge. Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so you can't move yours either. Uh, that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> I don't know, because I mean, I took a spot away. You still can't move. Oh, well, you could move no, your queen. No, I can actually. move my queen now. Yeah, you can move your queen now. I don't know. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's done. It's, it's, yeah. It's done. Right. Uh, he's going to swing around as an ant. Okay. Go there. Got it. All right. Things are looking real bad over here. Real bad. Got real bad real fast. You don't have it. I don't think you have anything currently on the field that could get you to these two spaces without me moving. Well, technically the beetle. The beetle, I think, is the only oh, thing. Oh, true. True. Uh, no, no, the mosquito technically can move. Because oh. you can copy the beetle's one movement. Let's try and put the beetle here. All right. Yeah, it's a bit of a last-ditch effort, to be honest. <laughs> Ladybug. Mm. Yeah, mine's over there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't move it. Uh, I feel like I'm, honestly, I feel like I'm just prolonging the inevitable, but, well, I want to put it here. Uh, well, I guess, yeah. Well, no, I guess here is, but it really doesn't matter. Yeah, that's what I realized. It's just like, oh, wait that. a minute, he can lock my ladybug. <laughs> so you could, yeah, I guess I won't tell you. <laughs> there, I mean, there's multiple strategies I might There are do. things you can do, but I put off my <laughs> demise for a couple of turns. No that, no, that was a good one. I didn't even think about that. Now I'm like, what the hell can I do? Sure. <laughs> um, sure. I'll get my mosquito in play. Ooh. Yeah. Who knows what's gonna happen? Makes way is along the edge. Hello, friend. Uh oh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's a little scary. All right. Wait, can your beetle move in? Oh, why can't you just tell me when you've won? You gotta... I thought you saw it though. He said, too. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna hide until he. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta just lord it over me like you always do. <laughs> well, so long, B. <laughs> it was nice while it lasted. <laughs> we had a good run. <laughs> um, and I know people have also preferences as to which expansions they like having in and out, and even beyond just which expansions they have, I've seen a bunch of different variants of maybe like each both players start with fewer pieces or maybe first player starts with like one less piece because uh, maybe people some people have found there's maybe a first player advantage in some cases i mean that's always in, in any game it's always interesting to see how does a game balance the first player move because even in chess which is perfectly mirrored there is a higher win ratio towards the first player right what, what, one of the things that i had read was that for second player in Hive, it's really, it's sort of a different experience because you can't really, if you're just trying to match them to see who can surround their queen first, you're nine times out of ten going to lose because you just, you're late to the game. Right. So you almost have to develop a better defensive strategy, I think. But again, it's, this is one of those games that there's so many layers. Right. Well, and that's why I think the lockdown mechanic actually becomes fun. I do think there was a point in the game uh, depending on how things move, that you actually had the advantage over me. You locked my queen down pretty well. Right, right. And I think if you just found a way to move your queen out just in time before my beetle, like that's the only difference. And I don't. I think you locked down mine before my my beetle got in. 
Uh, it was fairly early on. Yeah. So, like, and that was that shows you, like, even though you were second, you found a way to put me. That really worried me, and like, that's the trick. And that, and then I had to try to come up with a way to force you to move some of those things around there. Yeah. It, it, what What did you What do you think about this game? We keep talking about chess, but it's fine <laughs> in a modern context because there aren't very many games like chess or checkers anymore. Certainly not in the modern kind of hobbyist board game arena. But this seems to, more than any other one, have really stood the test of time and still be part of the conversation uh, online and, and at conventions and wherever people are playing board games. And I think it, maybe it is because of the, the variation in, in expansions and, and pieces and how you play, whereas chess is almost, if you're good at it, you almost know, you can predict the game four moves in. I feel like there is a lot more variability here that makes it a, a more popular choice now and more modern for, whether for hardcore or even, you could play this with kids, you could play it with your family, I think. Right, and, well, I think some of the reasons we have to look at is, one, I feel, I mean, the Hive Carbon version, I'm not sure about the regular one, especially since there's a pocket version, I mean, we don't have it right now. We'll put a picture, baby. But it comes with a little pouch, making it very transportable. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that is a really big difference for something like this. Uh, two, the bugs make it almost like, more accessible to a younger audience. You know, it's not just this weird abstract bulb with a little dot on it. That's true. And even when they're not abstract, it's like, what's a rook? <laughs> you know? Well, nobody, a, no, it's a, nobody, like a cat, but like... <laughs> nobody... I, mean, I, yeah, I, I know. know. But it's, it's much less accessible than just like, look, you know what an ant is? This is the ant, you know? Uh, they don't exactly make they don't, sense. No, 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 they do not. <laughs> and I know there's plenty of debate. Well, not debate. I guess people asking questions about comparing the ant to the spider. Yeah, I've, I've, I'm actually interested in some people think that they maybe should just be reverse their powers because you have uh, fewer ants. No, that was definitely my uh, thing I'm curious about. But I mean, there's people who are much more skilled than me in this who have. One of the other ones that I was interesting, which goes against what you said earlier, is to give the spider a bite power, which. Uh, does take away an, an opponent's piece, but then they can put it back in, possibly. Yeah, but that's still not permanently removed. Right, and right. And that's why I think that doesn't... Like, chess, you're gone. Unless, I think, technically, if you move a pawn to the end, you can get your queen back or something. Right. But, you know, that's a very rare circumstance. This is just... Here's your piece but back. But that, that's also even more interesting because then it creates a question of now that I have this piece back, what, where am I going to put it in a whole new place? Uh, so, and there's a bunch of those kinds of variants that people have come up with. And I guess the game does lend itself to that pretty well. Uh, Be well, I think it's because not, you don't throw everything on the board. It's hard to come up with a variant when, except for it's just like, all right, the variant is from now on rooks start here. <laughs> right. <laughs> then, then it's just like, no, you've broken it. <laughs> it's it's ruined. So, yeah, as far as I know, uh, as we said, the other Hive version, really the only difference is that it's in, in color. Uh, and that's, I think, really a matter of preference as to which version you, yeah, you yeah. like. Do you want it to look... Oh, oh, we also didn't talk about, I mean... The pieces themselves. I oh, think that, oh uh, that was actually going to continue. We started oh, yeah. went off <laughs> we with our spider ant thing. <laughs> was that because the pieces are, are still, even though they're bugs and accessible, they're still ni these nice solid tiles. I would compare it to even uh, Splendor, where almost half the fun is like just the clicking and clacking of moving these pieces around. There, they are. And thick. you have to think about even when you have these nice, thick, reasonably sized tiles. The space this actually takes up is very minimal, which supports the pouch idea more. Super small. Like, I mean, I've seen small chess boards, but usually they're like really flimsy in this cheap little plastic yeah. thing. Like, because yep. this doesn't have a board, you can, it, it, it can fit, play in a lot of different places. I haven't seen the actual pocket version, but I wonder, I mean... I know those are even smaller. Those are like a yeah. quarter size, I think. Yeah, that'd be, smaller. It's good for like airplane play or something. Honestly, this is, this is like a really good game for if you have, like if you are on a plane ship or something, you have a bunch of time to kill, almost in the way that... I mean, like chess, I guess, but or something like like some simple playing card games where you can just play them over and over and well, still discover new strategies. That actually brings up another thing. I don't think chess, well, especially when you get to the higher levels, probably uh, excluding analysis paralysis for both games. <laughs> I think this is a quicker game. Oh uh, yeah, I think I definitely. And I think there there lies another that. thing. Yeah. I mean, you, as you said, this can be more of that time waster of, like, if you're waiting for an appetizer to arrive or if you're on an airplane or something. Also, because, like, you know, in chess, generally, you're, you're keeping that king pretty safe, whereas in this, you have to put your queen out at well, uh, a certain time. 
unless otherwise, but I feel like every time we've played, your queen's getting at least one of your opponent's pieces next to it pretty fast. Yeah, because there's no, they're out there, they're vulnerable right off the bat. So yeah, that's part of it. Is But what's nice is it's not just like in chess where you, ha you have to keep them away from everything because it's literally a pawn can just be like, you're dead. <laughs> this needs a whole surrounding. So even if you your ladybug does hop next to mine, you know, I still got some reaction time unless you lock it in. And that's when I think that that's why that lock mechanic I think is what is what makes this game that and if it didn't have that lock mechanic, you could still move things around. I don't think this game would have lasted nearly as much as it has. Yeah, I think that's fair. It's certainly a a smartly designed game. I don't know if smartly is a real word or not. It it's is a, now. <laughs> it's it's a well-designed game that obviously I couldn't have made. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's even harder now also to design a game like this in a in a post chess and checkers and Chinese checkers world that has staying power. At least to me, it is like I find the abstract games from a design perspective. Well, very no, I different. mean, first let's admit that we we're definitely usually theme heavy kind of guys. Mm -hmm. That being said, though, even if we look at, try to get outside of our theme bubble, I feel like if you look at, like, Spiel des Arts and all these games, you see maybe one or two, like, abstract games, but when you go to Gen Con, you're just going to see theme everywhere. You're going to see people promoting King of Tokyo, the giant King of Tokyo pieces, you know? Right. The Netrunners, your Magic Tournaments, your Legendary, I feel like that's the, it, it's just flooding. So, yeah, it's really hard for an abstract game to really stand tall. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think that's that's another thing to like about this game is it's it feels it seems very modest. Like it's simple, especially the carbon, it's black and white. It's not it's not trying to sell any big fancy pictures or anything. It's just hive, here you go. It's a short word, take it or leave it, have fun. Uh, so I like that. So definitely if you haven't played Hive, I definitely uh, recommend it if you're if you're into those kinds of games or definitely even give it a try if you're generally not you might find something fun in there. Honestly, I would say if you have kids, this is a good recommendation because one, the tiles are very simple, they're not weird, so not likely to have something weird to break or swallow. Mm -hmm. uh, it's abstract enough, so it's not like they have to wrap their head around what's hacking, what's like uh, Cthulhu <laughs> or something. And the bug theme would, I think, generally attract a reasonable audience of children. Maybe it could help them overcome a fear of bugs <laughs> or, or, or prevent one. <laughs> wow, spiders aren't that fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, they're not so But scary. And I think that could be a, g a good gateway game into the board game world, an abstract one, and frankly one that I think that will still have some staying power on your shelf. And probably the uh, the color version, I think, would be better for kids if it's a little I, more, and, pops and, a little more. Right, obviously. But, I mean, take your pick. Take your pick. So, two thumbs up from us for Hive and or Hive Carbon. If you've played the game, we'd love to hear what you think about it. If you have some really good strategies that we did not employ. <laughs> or bug puns. I feel like <laughs> we did, we're good while we were playing, but we've been very light now. Yeah, well, I feel like halfway through, once we actually started thinking more of the puns, there's a steep drop-off. <laughs> yeah. um, let us know, or if there's something, if something about the spider, any kind of variance you, you'd like to use, tell us about that. Leave a comment right here on YouTube, or email us at rollforcrit at gmail.com. Of course, we're on all other places, uh, Twitter, at Roll for Crit, Instagram, Facebook, underneath the rocks, yeah. but we will skitter as soon as you lift it. <laughs> yep, that's how we are. We're, we're shy like that. Uh, and check out our website, rollforcrit.com, where you can find pretty much every version of Hive and its expansions as well for great prices, plus more videos and reviews slash playbacks just like this one. Yes, so much to look forward to. Really Until good. then, I'm Will Keeler. I'm Jonathan Estes, and this has been Roll for Crit Playback.